Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode number 60. And this is the final episode of this season, I think. Because like it's written in my anime list that there are like 16 episodes. So I'm guessing this is the final episode of the season. I really am confused as to why they decided to name this season as the final season. If this is not technically the final season, like... I don't know and I don't know what their plans are in the future like are they going to uh, you know like make another season or are they going to you know make a movie or something else how they are going to end this show because uh, as far as I know I think uh, the manga is coming to an end I'm not sure if it has already ended or it's going to end but I think there's like uh, like an uh, like article I read where like it was said that Attack on Titan the manga is going to end on april or may i'm not sure but uh during that time frame and so like that means like the manga there's a few like must be like a few more manga chapters left so they're probably going to uh make a movie out of it or another season small season like comprising of 12 11 episodes something like that either way so but uh like yeah like this is going to be the end of this season and um okay i'm talk i'll talk about my impressions of the season after the episode uh, in the discussion section so yeah so yeah guys uh, anyways without f oh i forgot to talk about the previous episode the previous episode um it was shocking you know after like learning what their actual uh, plan is what the actual plan consists of now i still am really kind of skeptical on the actual plan that is like their plan like zeke's plan at least is to like make uh, changes in the titans so that they are unable to uh, you know have any children like they become sterile so that you know when the current generation of the aliens die there won't be any more aliens left and there won't be any more titans no one will be born and in like because like no one is born those changes children are supposedly saved according to zeke i'm not sure what type of reasoning is that but anyways <laughs> and uh like yeah like everything will be fine Bec like his plan is like that his plan is one of the most what can i say uh like it's like he's surrendering that's just it that's just his plan uh, in a way but uh, at the same time like it's a little different because he's saying like we won't be even we like there won't be any more aliens born so no one will have to suffer like living in this world is suffering so not like not being born is equal to save like you know being uh, saved so yeah and Aaron kind of went on board with the plan which I'm still not you know like like I at least do not believe that Aaron wants this plan like I'm, I think he has some kind of other plan in his mind at least i think because Aaron is not, not that type of guy who would just like you know like surrender like that and like all the thing about like when that he said about mikasa armin i also do not believe that like he said that i hated you from the beginning no i don't believe that and let's see like what it actually is did Aaron really change into such a monster or is it something that he has like future plans about why he's like acting like this so yeah guys anyways without further ado let's get started with this episode this is episode number 16 of attack on titan the final season all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh yeah zeke blew himself up what happened after that? No, that's not thunder. Yeah. Okay, but Zeke ha ha has Titan blood in him, so if he's like completely, you know, in pieces, he won't be able. Oh, there he is. Will he regenerate? Like, or maybe not? No, no I don't think he, there's no steam coming out. Like, he's not regenerating. What's that? Oh no! 
Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if this statin. Wait, what? That's not how a titan eats someone. He just broke open his belly and put him inside. What happened there? Is that another titan shifter or something? Like, that's not how, oh, maybe it's an abnormal, you know? Because that's not how titan, you know, behaves. Like, titans are just like titans. They come grab you and eat you. Even though they cannot digest you, like, you know, uh, like, so this titan comes in, tears upon his or her belly, puts Zeke inside. Either it's an abnormal or a titan shifter. I don't think that's a titan shifter because titan shifters have, uh, like, you know, like, it's quite like have a different type of appearance like they're kind of unique in a special way you know like you know like the warhammer titan has this kind of like white lines in their mouth and eren is eren like we know how eren looks like and the card titan big mouth the jaw titan like there's like unique like characteristics but this titan looks a lot like normal you know like those normal feral titans that roam about but all the titans are supposed to be... Oh, no, 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 no. It's one of those. Levi's men. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So one of Levi's men who became titan came and put him inside. Okay. And because he did not eat him, is he going to turn? You know, like how titans turn when they eat a titan shifter? Oh my god, great. <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> yeah, like they're like hostages, you know? Yep. Oh, damn. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> damn. They have like a symbol now. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, damn, they're like tagging them. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both foolish and wise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What would have been saved? True. Mm, actually, that's not the plan. Yeah. No. They're saying they're going to save, but okay. Damn. Wow, your god is dying now. Like. <laughs> Wow.
Hmm. Oh, oke okay, ya. Yeah, yeah. Oke. Okay. <sighs> well, he wanted to fight with Armin because he had not his childhood. Mm, yeah, like just stop, like. Yeah, yeah, like, stop, like. Come on, Mikasa, don't snap. That's also what I think, you know, John, like. Oh, okay. Oh, great. They're here. Wow. Wait, Onyankopon is going along with them. But Yeah. Um, you're in for a surprise, John. Who is this guy? He's... What the hell? Who is this guy? Like, we're seeing. Shut up! Now, this guy's. Someone, please punch him. Yeah, thank you. Enough is enough. Like, this is the only time I do not feel any, like, remorse for someone who's dead. Okay, he's, she's telling everything. Like, that's a good thing. Oh, Gabi, you forgot about her completely. <clears throat> oh, Aaron is here. Yeah, how is she going to help? Oh! Damn, that's... What the? Who is this? Oh, Peek! It's... I, I didn't really, like, recognize her for a second there. Damn, that was something. Aaron is like, oh, like, this is not the first time I've been in front of a gun. Like, this is nothing for me. Come on, P, keep attention on Aaron, yeah. If I refuse. Huh. 
<laughs> Damn, Aaron. Eek. Aaron is more formidable. Damn. <laughs> Aaron. Yeah. Oh my god, he's going... <laughs> oh, so he was expecting her. Okay. Oh, wait, what? She's... Something more. Oh... Yeah, everyone has this resentment, you know, even though they are honorary Marlians. Like, they are, have resentment towards the Marlians. Oh boy. No, you're mistaken about that. That won't happen. God damn. Yeah, they'll keep exploiting you till the, you know, till the end. Yep, like nothing will stop. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy, he... Okay. Oh. Yep. <sighs> Which is weird. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Like I did not think about that as well. Like they'll be like old men only. That's the fun attack. Oh.
Like, the way the mind works is so twisted. What? What's happening? What? Oh, is he acting? He's acting. He's acting. Armin is acting. Armin has a plan. I'm sure. Yeah, he's acting. Invaders. Who? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 does he, she has some other kind of plan? What's happening? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No, that's also I'm curious about like Like it's like a power similar to Eren, you know, similar to founding titans Four years ago. Oh. Yeah, that's when she felt that, yeah, this is genuine words. So, like, all the time they've been lying to us. Um... I think she has some kind of uh, other plan, motive. Let's see, like... She... Yeah, she has some plan. She has some other plan. Oh my god, something's going to happen here. Oh no, what's going to happen? Is she going to jump or something? What? What the? Oh! Orko is here!
Yeah, was that completely false? Like... Oh no! Okay, okay. Oh my god. Um, yeah, they're here. Oh, well, Reiner is here. Damn! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Um... Yeah, things are going to be a little bit... You know? <laughs> too exciting in the next season. Uh, whatever they brings, you know, like uh, however they want to continue this series. Okay, so <laughs> damn, like there's more problems now. Now I think like like Eren needs the help of you know the scouts and all of them because this is like this is what I was saying. Like they were fighting amongst each other, which was going to be taken advantage of by the Marleans, and they are here now. So. I hope and I wish that you know like they put aside the difference for a little bit like you know uh, Jaegerists and the others they put their differences aside and work together now otherwise I don't see how Eren or like only Eren is going to you know fight <laughs> because Eren has the only titan by uh, Eren is the only titan shifter here the other titan shifter is Armin and Annie is still in the thing, you know, that crystal or whatever. Like, we don't even know if Annie somehow, like, I'm sure, like, Annie will get out someday. But we're not even sure if that will happen while all of these things are happening. Or, okay, that's the end. Or after, like, it ends, or, like, I'm not sure. If she comes out before and, like, while all of these, like, you know, like, these type of stuff are happening, these, like, uh uh like these problems are still ongoing will she you know help uh, Aaron's team or i'm not sure like where her loyalty will lie and yeah like so who are the titan shifters left here like Aaron is a titan shifter he has two powers that is the warhammer titan's power and the founding titan's power and obviously the attack titan's power which his dad gave him and uh, like uh, all of them and then there's uh, armin who has a colossal titan and uh, as i said like i'm not sure about annie but like technically she has a titan power so i'm including her she is uh has the female uh what was the name yeah female titan female titan and uh on their team reiner is there uh galliard is there Peak is there who has the card titan and is there anyone else oh and we still don't know anything about zeke what happened to him is he all right is he dead or is he will he recover so i'm also including reiner in Eren's team uh reiner no, sorry uh zeke in Eren's team so like uh zeke has a beast titan what else like are there any other titans left i don't think so like is there any other titan these are the few titans left aren't they like annie uh Eren, um zeke they're like uh, and armin they're like in one side i'm not sure about annie annie is in a neutral position i'm not sure what will happen to her and in this side there's like reiner um peak porco no there's uh, uh, no one else like this like that's it isn't it so yeah and um but like in this position now like it's more problematic because Eren is like the only one who is going to fight against them like they're coming with the full force and like armin is kind of you know handcuffed and everything and zeke no one knows what happened to zeke so it's like Eren is the only like last defense you know so like peak and gali galliard is already transformed peak can transform anytime and there's like Reiner will transform eventually and there's like all of these Marleyan soldiers 
So yeah, the survey cops needs to get here ASAP and Levi also needs to be here. So I, I'm not sure what happened to Levi. Like he like, you know, like he took cover, didn't he? And like uh, Z blew up and then we did not see him. I'm not sure what happened to him. Uh, where he is like is he looking for Zeke or did he like run away from that place or what even happened and uh, yeah yeah this is like the thing that is happening like this is the whole uh, you know placement of the enemy and the allies all right they need to like you know like like stop that like you know like in like you know uh, like fighting against themselves and like join hands now the Jaegerists and the uh, survey corps the garrison like troops all of them the military police I, do, I don't know if the military police will be of any help but like they can at least do something you know and yeah and okay let, let's talk about this episode first we see like Zeke now Zeke is like kind of saying that am I dying and okay who is this girl in Zeke's memory that's a girl, isn't it? What the hell? We've not seen this person before. She has like a suitcase, like a suitcase or a bag in her hand. She looks a lot like Yelena. Is that Yelena? Like her hair really looks like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but she's like wearing a kind of a dress. And who is this like as far as we saw in Zeke's backstory like there was no one like this that he knew did he like he only knew uh, Saba uh, his grandparents uh, and his parents and he later got to know uh, Aaron and Yelena as well so either this is Yelena or someone else who we do not know anyways and then like comes the most shocking part this is Titan like like i really don't know what this titan is like this titan is either an abnormal or a shifter if this is a shifter then i'll be extremely surprised because like this will be like a completely new character wouldn't it because like this titan is acting on its own now another thing could have happened is like you know um zeke gave it some order or something you know the way like because it can ingest Zeke's spinal fluid and I think like maybe this is like Levi's uh, one of Levi's you know members who became a titan after consuming Zeke's spinal fluid if that is the case maybe Zeke unconsciously gave that titan some kind of an order and the titan like you know split open its uh, stomach and put Zeke inside it for whatever reason I'm not sure maybe it's trying to heal Zeke is that it I'm not even sure like oh one thing oh i didn't even notice this you guys notice this like when uh, this titan um just a sec um okay this titan is coming and there's like fumes fumes coming out of its body that only happens to a titan shifter doesn't it you know like when there's they're like hurt or anything and there's like this regenerative ability which like like the steam happens like that's why i said like zeke is like uh like not regenerating you know like there's no fumes coming out of zeke so that's why i thought that maybe he's, he'll die or something but then this titan shifter uh, i'm not sure if this is a titan shifter but uh I'm not sure, but I think it is a Titan Shifter, isn't it? Because it's fuming from its body. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is like just a phenomenon that we do not know about the Titans. But anyways, it like tears upon, uh, like apart its stomach, takes Zeke and puts him in the stomach inside. Yeah, this is a mystery, you know, like, like my guess is that this is either a titan shifter or something similar to that who is like trying to help zeke but if this is really a titan shifter i'll be extremely surprised because it will be like it came out of the blue so yeah anyways that's all we got to know about zeke
and then uh, like we get to the next portion where like the pixies and they're like talking yelena and all and they explain like why they you know like there's like this kind of people who like completely converted to the yegurists they have this white band and the people who are like you know held hostage they have this red band and people who like really do not know anything about it and don't want to become the yegurists they have this black band so like they're talking and <clears throat> And then like uh, Pixie is quite surprised as like uh, Elena says that this is like something like which is related to the whole world and not just for them because like Pixie thought that they're going to do the rumbling and like going to shut Marley and the Marley down uh, for 50 or 100 years. And then comes the next portion where like uh, Armin and uh, who is this? Um, uh, Mikasa like uh, John they're like sitting talking and uh, Nicolo is also there and uh, like they're talking and now one thing i was really surprised is like john really thought about it you know like like i thought maybe john was going to get mad or something but he said that like okay like if aaron is insane mind like you know in like you know insane condition like he which he is uh, he has must have some kind of a plan and which we do not know like he must have some like otherwise he won't say something like this which is like you know which is just what i think as well like he said that i hate you guys i have hated you from the beginning which is a barefaced faced lie i can tell and like because obviously like we have seen aaron from the childhood you know not from the childhood but still like when he was <laughs> from when he was a child and we've seen him like we've seen a lot of his like you know actions uh like the way he reacted to each and everything uh his like uh way of his own way of uh, caring for his comrades uh, like the guilt he felt when he got to know that his father like do, like you know killed all of the royal titans and like he said like his story told his story that eat me like i don't need to live or something like that that and also like uh, when like there's this like uh, the titan dinah's titan came in and like he like said like told mikasa that i'll wrap around that uh, muffler as uh, like you know as many times as uh, in in the future you don't have to worry and something like that like he said like no like if, if you hate someone that's not like you know that's not how you act especially in a death like you know in a like life or death situation like that's the time when your real feelings come out like he like the way he's saying that yeah i've hated you guys from the beginning i refuse to believe that um but yeah and like gino john also caught about like caught that and he said that there must be something and then like uh yelena and all of them comes in and and then there's like this uh like nicolo and this person uh like this person who's who's talking with nicolo and saying that like i hated like uh, like shasa died like that's what she deserved or something like that he said now like yelena killed him and like i'm not sure if like I barely recognize this guy like he I think like we saw him once in that episode where there's this like when like Nicolo was serving wine and he was there at that moment like he was like weirdly looking at him and he was kind of the person who uh, like helped uh, the Jaegerists come in at that moment and like so like it's that guy isn't he so like I think like he's that was the first episode when we got to meet him or I'm not even sure if we got to meet him before that and I forgot, but you know, like yeah, like he was not a like he, he was a really a side character kind of. So I know nothing about him, but the way he behaved in this episode, it ticked me off. And when Yelena like shot him, I have to say like I didn't feel anything. Like yeah, like you don't do that. Like like you know. Like whatever you have felt but you, like he was like trampling uh, upon like Nicolo's feeling and like like saying whatever that he, the hell he wants to and like I don't know like <laughs> like if that makes me some kind of uh, you know like a bad person that I thought that yeah like he died it's better off that they killed him but I really did not like how he was acting uh, but yeah, I kind of think that it's a little bit 
too much that they killed him but still like in my mind like there is a part that thinks that like ah like it's better that he's off like you know he's dead that like he could have like made more problems in the future but <laughs> i don't know if that makes me uh you know uh, a bad person or something like but yeah like i i really hated it when he like was saying stuff like that in front of them because Sasha was a character that I'm sure like all AOT fans adored. Same with me. Like Sasha was, you know, what can I say? Like Sasha was a like a, a character like uh, which we will never we will never forget. And him like saying all of these all of those kind of things of about Sasha like that take me off. Anyways, um, and and then like uh. Oh, and then another thing happens, like which was, uh, uh, like they, like Yelena explains everything about the euthanization plan. Armin starts crying and saying that, "Oh my God, like, <laughs> like you're so noble, like I want to, uh, you know, help you guys, like that." He was acting like that, which is extremely weird because Armin does not act like that. So I'm guessing he is just, you know, like acting. And that was just an act, so that he like, put, like you know, makes like keeps like you know like puts his her guard down, and maybe like you know like uh, like open the gates and say that okay like you guys are with me now, so you are free, you are my com you are our comrades, and like if he like let his her guard down like that, they could have done something. Maybe that was the like plan that Armin was going with, and yeah. But like unfortunately like there's like this thing happened the whole like uh, like everyone said that there's like a problem here like peak uh, like there's like someone who betrayed them and something like that they said but yeah and then like um, uh, then like we in the next uh, portion we get to see peak uh, pointing a gun at Aaron and Gabi as well like uh, one thing that uh, Aaron told was like told Gabi before that was quite intelligent you know <clears throat> excuse me like. It, like I was thinking like what will Gavi like you know uh, like what will even Gavi how will even Gavi help him when he said that I need your help now uh, like so his plan was most probably for Gavi to as he said like phone all of the Marlians and like ask them for help lure them out or something like that he said and I, was, I think that was his plan but like Peak came in and stopped that plan midway um, Oh, okay. Uh, here's this like information. Uh, the fortified residential district of Paddy's Island, where the operation of to retake the founding titan began in 845. In five years following the fall of Malwari, uh, Walmaria, it was inhabited by titans. However, with the operation's failure, the hole was plugged by Aaron Yeager and current state of districts is unknown. The primary goal of the new strategy of the Card Titan and the Jaw Titan to infiltrate Shiganshina, the southern moon district. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So then, like, uh, okay. So then, like, the peaks, like, uh, you know, like, uh, points a gun at Eren, and like, she starts, like, like she was at first. I'm sure, like, she wanted to kill Eren, but the way Eren, like, was fearless and the way he acted, Peak changed his plan at that moment. He, she thought that, oh boy, God, like, like this, like, we cannot defeat him. So she changed his plan at that moment and she said that okay like I cannot defeat you so I'll join you which was a bluff and Peek said that uh, like kind of like you know like uh, what can I say like she kind of played uh, the fact that like yeah like we are also fellow Eldians we have this kind of resentment which I thought was genuine at that moment like he fooled me <laughs> as well like when she was saying that like my dad like she was bringing up his, her dad and saying that like we have this problem like we are also oppressed so we want to defeat the Marlins as well and everything and um like I was also fooled I was thinking like oh maybe like yeah like you know like all of these Marlins all of these honorary Marlins as well they also have this kind of a grudge you know like against the uh, uh, like the origin like the Marlians how they oppressed them for so long I was thinking that oh okay so maybe they're going to team up or something and <laughs> like and then peaked uh, like Aaron also took the you know bait and he like 
he was also kind of fooled he's like and he did not trust her obviously like i also did not trust her at that moment but i was thinking that maybe she really is going to like you know join them which i'm sure aaron also thought at that moment and like then like peak said that we're going to the roof i'm going to point out where the others uh, are like you know other uh, like people are the marlins are and now then like uh, okay just a sec yeah and then like they go up and oh also another thing that peak says is like peak uh said that we made a zeg for uh, like zeke but like i th one thing that i understood when he talked with you is that all of the time he has been talking with us conversation having conversations with us those are all lies because the way he like talked with you genuinely that was the truth so that's how i was able to you know like predict that all of the things that zeke is doing is actually fake so yeah that's like a thing that happened and um then like they go to, to the top of the uh, like roof and <laughs> that's when i started feeling that maybe something really is wrong you know like the way it was happening like yelena and gabi are like in front you know aaron is ready to do something if something bad happens and <laughs> like like the way they were acting i was thinking oh my god they have some kind of a plan like like they they are not betraying them um, betraying the marlins and then like peak like points at aaron and i think that was the signal which like Galliard took, he came up from underground and I think like hurt Eren and Eren took that like timing to become the uh, attack titan like uh, and then Galliard shields uh, Peak and uh, Gabi. Now uh, like Gabi says like one thing like this is also what I thought I was thinking that like Gabi I'm sure like Gabi also has this kind of resentment against the Marlians so was everything that she said to Eren was it really like you know uh, not true did she really have no resentments against the Marlians I was thinking I was thinking maybe you know he she had that resentment but still she is working for them and that's what uh, like a guy like Peek said as well Peek said that I do not trust the Mar Marlians but I trust my comrades who have worked with so like she can betray the Marlians, but she cannot she and she will not betray the comrades that she has worked with that is Sporco and like obviously Gabi, Falco, all of them like Reiner like uh, the like you know her friends like that's why she decided to you know like side with the Marlians because her friends are also there like betraying Marlians would also mean betraying them so that was her logic which I think is quite nice you know like it shows that like her sincerity that like you know, like even uh, like like it's not that revenge 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 that's not what she is like she's sensible and she thinks you know like thinks about stuff and like her what can i say her uh, morality is nice and clean so yeah that's like quite impressive like you know uh so yeah like she did refuse to betray the comrades that she has worked with even in this situation anyways so uh yeah and then like um oh and then like these kind of the, these blimps come in with like uh the soldiers from the marley territory reiner is with uh, like in that and um like yeah and like that's where it ends and like <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is like bring it on like Reiner like we'll have a fight and this will be the you know like the final fight we have or something like that <laughs> and yeah it ended like that so like it's weird you know like the how, how the alliances are changing left and right and left and right like a few minutes ago uh, the Jaegerists and you know like all of the others like the scouts and all they were like kind of like fighting against like you know among each other and now there's like a bigger threat coming and now i'm thinking maybe they're going to join hands again which i'm not sure you know like it's just a guess but like that's the only way left because Eren is the only titan here so unless and until he joins hands with the scouts again or like armin and like mikasa levi they comes to help uh like it will be a problem fighting with all of the other titans and the marlians even though Eren is quite strong he has the Warmat Titan, 
the tag titan the founding titan so yeah and oh also another thing i'm quite curious like they like mentioned it in this episode where like peak was talking about zeke peak said that so what is special about zeke like why did his final fleet act like this is also something that i'm curious about you know like I was thinking, like, why does Zeke's spinal fluid act like this? Is he also special somehow, like Eren? You know, uh, like, one thing that we obviously knew that Zeke has, has royal blood in him. So is that the reason why, like, his spinal fluid acts like this? Maybe, you know, Historia's spinal fluid would also act like that, because he also has a has royal blood. Oh, but Historia is not a titan. Okay, so that won't happen. No, no, I don't think so. So maybe like if and there's like another royal blooded titan, maybe their spinal fluid also work like this. Like I'm like you know like uh, you know attaching the factor that I'm I'm like I'm kind of like saying that uh, the spinal fluid equals uh, like a royal spinal fluid equals to the thing that happened. Like you know how they like changed into the titans when um, uh, Zeke screamed. Maybe that is like a special thing that like royal spinal fluid. Uh, has the only property or maybe that's like a power in like a power in within Zeke's like beast like you know beast titan that's like a special power it has either way like Zeke has this like weird power which is a lot similar to Eren you know like it's not completely similar but it's a lot similar to not Eren but the founding titan it's a lot similar to it like you know how like they ingested the final spinal fluid and when he screamed they turned into titans and they can order them like that's like the founding titan's power like how the founding titan when it comes into contact with royal blooded titan it can command the other titans so yeah that's the thing to think about maybe like zeke is also special in some kind of way so who knows yeah and uh so let's wait you know i'm not sure <laughs> like did they even uh announce what's going to happen after this like any kind of announcement of future plans a o t s just a sec guys let me check um let me check if there's some news anything uh oh yeah there is a news i think here it is oh yeah there is what The oh my god yeah we have a news that it's coming but january 2022 are you kidding me what the hell like we have to wait for eight how many months oh, no six no eight eight yeah eight months so wait a minute i must be missing something it's it's coming out january 2022 like that's so long like i don't get it like i'm sure like the manga will end uh you know within that time frame so what's the like wh why the delaying it so yeah it is coming out in winter 2022 that's like january is the earliest <laughs> oh no i have to wait for eight months i thought maybe they're going to bring out something within four or something like that like four months like not four but three or uh, something but okay like thinking about if they like did a movie or something like that it would have taken a longer time to come out so okay like all right like i can kind of see okay so like eight months okay it's nothing much you know like it's like one two it's like three like anime like seasons will be over after that we'll see it like now now it's like the this is the spring 2020 isn't it uh, anime that's ongoing yeah like spring 2021 sorry 2021 is ongoing next will come summer 2021 and then fall to fall 2021 and then winter 2022 so, yeah as i said like it's like three uh you know three seasons of anime after that we'll get attack on titan again that's a long wait 
Oh my god. I'm sure the manga will end by then. And I'll keep myself, you know, like my hands will be like changed. I, I'll keep trying not to look at the manga because I want to like, you know, end this while watching the anime. I don't want to get spoiled like looking at the manga. So I'll try my best. I will. I'll, I, I will not try my the best. I, I will definitely not read the manga. <laughs> oh my god, it's like so long. We'll have to wait anyways so yeah that's it so that's it guys this was attack on titan the final season episode number 16 which is the season finale and uh yeah so the next part will probably be the end like the real end so yeah we'll have to wait so thank you guys for watching so this was uh the final episode of this season uh, i hope you guys enjoyed my uh, reaction if you guys enjoyed it press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed or you uh, are new to the channel because that really helps me out in a lot of ways and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share uh, about your impressions of this season or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and plus um, but uh, like no spoilers please and uh, yeah like that was it so my impressions of this season was it was amazing you know and yeah like like one thing that this season was able to do like it was like almost like you know like every two or three episodes there was this like exciting thing happening uh and it was like all throughout the whole season was a complete package <laughs> it was extremely interesting it was extremely like what can i say suspenseful all of these things and like the whole plan or the whole euthanization plan was something that like came out of the blue and it still really has not settled with me like this plan is the actual plan they're going with but you know like this is zeke we're talking about like you know his like mind works in a weird way and like this is the best thing that he thought up with and it's like really interesting that how twisted his plan is and i'm glad that it's not something that like you know picks his thought like the like yeah they are going to do the rumbling they're going to like stop uh the malians from attacking for 50 or 100 years like simple like that it's not something simple like that like zeke's plan is really unique and i would have never thought about something like this like it's so unique and yeah like uh this season was great and i'm sure like we'll get a banging finale and <laughs> yeah like i i think maybe like all the like like i think this season has a rating of 9.2 isn't it uh let's see like i'm quite curious um 9 point yeah 1 9 so i won't be surprised if the final season like you know part 2 of the final season gets a 9.5 rating or something because i'm sure like it will end with a bang bang so yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and when the next season comes out uh yeah i'll be definitely continuing this so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day